the updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the BMW 5 Series. Okay, this is the M Sport. You get the M colors right there. I'm going to quickly browse through the key to show you guys what's there. Interesting key. All right. This is the touch key. It says BMW right there. You can just swipe up. This is for RC parking. You can set temperature. This is saying the distance to empty. You can lock or unlock the car and the windows. Key is pretty nice. It's really very awesome and it's a wireless charging key. So you can wirelessly charge it. This is the BMW 5 Series. This is the G30 LCI, the facelifted model of the 5 Series, the seventh generation. This is the 530i M Sport and straight away we are going to be opening the engine bay and look at this. Okay, it is so easy. Okay, it's not. <laughs> there it goes. Right up. Hydraulic struts. Insulation right there. This is the engine. It says twin power turbo BMW the logo there on the engine bay Of course the engine cover that is you see the engine is actually closer to the body for 50 50 weight distribution You get strut bars as well and the packaging of BMW engines is fantastic Okay, let's put this down now before you guys get bored Let me quickly tell you the changes up front you get a new grill you get a new bumper you get new lights That's about it at the rear you get new tail lights and a new bumper and trapezoidal exhaust tips that's it. On the interior front, you get a bigger touchscreen. That's it. I mean, little changes, not so much. LCI, minor facelift, but we still go through this beautiful looking BMW car right away. First and foremost, I love the color. And this is the M Sport. It gets this chrome surround on the grille, which looks super duper awesome. There is the front parking camera. And this is actually closed, which actually opens when it needs to breathe, but closes to ensure great aerodynamic efficiency. In fact, the CD of this car is really very low, the best in the segment. Bumper is really aggressive. <laughs> you see, there is space here for breathing, of course. You know, they have done a fantastic job with the cuts and creases on the bumper. Looks super sporty. There you see, there's actually an inlet here and there's an outlet right there. That is to reduce the air turbulence on the wheels. Again, aerodynamics, my friend. And these are BMW laser lights, okay? They are fantastic to say the least. L-shaped DRLs, you get this blue tinge on the inside. The lights get the matrix function. The lights are super duper awesome. In fact, it can throw up to 650 meters. Yeah, that is how advanced they are. They look lovely. They illuminate everything at night. In fact, they're so advanced that it will act. I mean, the adaptive lights, of course. So in case there's something right ahead incoming or rather someone you're behind someone, it will actually change the light intensity to ensure that it doesn't throw high beam on it. So around the car, like other than the obstacle, everything will be on high beam so that you can see the road clearly. How does it do that? Well, of course, it's got sensors and cameras right there to enable the same as well. What an amazing light. The hood is long. This car is slightly under 5 meters in length, slightly under 3 meters in terms of wheelbase. This is the right proportion for a sedan. The wheels are 18 inches. M wheels, okay, it gets these M colored brake calipers, which are blue in color. They look really nice. The front tire size happens to be 245, 45, 18s. Not really low profile. M badging right there. But unfortunately, this is a fake thing. Yeah, this is fake. No, this is not fake. This is functional. OMG, this is functional. That is so awesome. I love you, BMW. Okay, this is functional. Ground clearance is low, without a doubt. But the proportions, the cuts and creases, everything. Fantastic. What a beautiful looking car. In fact, at night, it projects some light from here so that you can see in the dark as well. And there is a camera here as well. It gets a 360 degree parking camera. Indicators on at the moment. Get this gloss black finishing around the windows, of course. And a sunroof. The shark fin antenna, a typical BMW affair which almost everybody is copied right now. It's very shameful that everyone's just copying BMW right, left and center, including Honda with the tail lights. Okay, <laughs> the rear fog is somewhere here. You can see that. It says BMW right on the inside. Can you see that? Yeah, I can actually. The rear tire is actually bigger in terms of size because rear wheel drive 275, 40, 18s. Wheels are so lovely and these brake calipers are, oh my God, fantabulous. Okay, if you're going to open this, I just can't go behind. I just want to keep seeing the car. It's just so amazing in terms of appearance. Now again, the car actually looks like a 3 series from the front, bigger 3 series. Same from the rear as well, you get these L-shaped tail lights. This is actually the fog light, rear fog. And uh, you get new lights reprofiled and the indicator, of course, should have got the dynamic function, dynamic swipe function. 530i is the name of the variant. Rear parking sensors, there is a reverse parking camera. And you know what? It gets these trapezoidal uh, exhausts, yeah. They are very much functional. But, you know, not directly into the slot. You can see that, you know, how, how they're slotted in. Yeah, that is how it's done. Car looks fantastic from every given angle. Wherever you look at it from, it just is mind-blowingly phenomenal. What a design. What a beauty. Let's open the boot right away. Press this button and there. The boot has, uh, <laughs> I mean, it just comes up. Now, globally, the 530i has 
530 liters of boot space actually the new 5 series has 530 liters of boot space but not the indian market because of this uh, you know spare wheel has to be placed here which is actually a space saver small size tire without an alloy wheel in fact the size of the tire is so small i feel ashamed of even telling you the size right now it's so chintu bindu <laughs> yeah actually the size happens to be 13560 18s okay there's space on both the sides for keeping stuff you can open the left one of course uh, this can be open storage space first aid kit what not but now because of the spare wheel the boot carrying capacity is a measly 400 liters that's bad you can just lock the car from here if so you wish okay just go down it doesn't want to go down that's what you said <laughs> yes let's get inside first and foremost the doors are really long and big and they almost open 90 degrees as well really wide opening doors and getting in and out can be a slight issue because of course uh, it's on the lower side the seat okay there is good amount of storage space in the door pockets but this is manually adjusted yeah this is manual adjust for the sun blind and this too yeah you have to manually remove it and manually put it not the case in the BMW 6 series which also gets soft door close which again is missing on the 5 series it says m right there seats have a decent recline angle the recline angle could have been better the seat quality is fantastic i mean really amazing seat quality let's get inside now if you can see that there's good amount of space on offer good amount of legroom and legroom scooped out seat back as well yeah, the seat is a little bit behind however uh, i mean the rear seat comfort is good but under high support could have been better headroom is about adequate there is a hook as well as a handle and there is this light placement in the center because of which it kind of protrudes here doesn't make any sense whatsoever there's obviously a hump here but two usb c charging socket along with a 12 volt charging socket and rear ac vents you know what it has got a four zone climate control air conditioning system yeah a four zone climate control air conditioning system let me turn that off at the moment here you obviously get yeah you get a magazine holder ac vents on the b pillar as well cabin feels really very nice okay they always send a hygiene kit with the car just so that you do not you know get any sort of virus uh, it says harman kardon right there beautiful stitching seat color and everything is fantastic this sun blind is closed it opens with a touch of a button uh, which i will show you in a bit here see if i open the window the window opens but the sun blind it does not open i'm just going to close that for a moment anyways so what else has changed honestly not much rear seat comfort remains more or less the same as before so not much to talk about here as such yeah and it has got a request sensor on all the doors you just put your hand in and you know the doors unlock that's also pretty nice what you're going to do is we are going to shut the air conditioning because air conditioning making a lot of noise for zone of course now it has got electric adjust for both the front seats but the driver gets a memory function you can save up to two people settings these are actually controls for the power windows this is for the rear sunblind which i was talking about and this decent amount of storage at the in the front doors this is to open the boot of the car this is to lock or unlock the door yeah this is to lock or unlock the door quality of the cabin and the materials used absolutely phenomenal okay multiple way adjustment these are sport seats actually the 530d m sport gets a comfort seat this is also an m sport but doesn't get comfort seats it gets the sport seats and sport seats are also very nice you can see nice bolstering under thigh support never an issue as such proper dead pedal and i love the way the brake pedal shows an aircraft there <laughs> okay this is to open the hood of the car there's a secret storage space here and these are the controls for the lights so this is obviously for the rear fog this is for the headlight automatic headlight of course and parking lights now the thing is it's got automatic headlights it's got automatic wipers and you name it <laughs> it's got a slew of features this car is so loaded with so many features you never ever feel anything is lacking you see the dashboard design is super duper awesome the center console is actually tilted a bit towards the driver and whenever i move my finger another gesture control kit is getting activated now this is obviously auto dimming and here we are going to be opening the sunroof of the car first the sun blind opens actually the thing is this is a little bit on the smaller side it's not a panoramic roof at this price you would expect that now you see the 6 series has certain features which are just more comfort oriented here the sunroof opens decent sized but you know not as big as the 6 series quality of the materials is just phenomenal the steering wheel is also kind of different gets the m logo could have got a flat bottom treatment of course meanwhile you get the auto hold function the electric parking brake this is the i drive controller with all the functions right there and this is the drive mode selector this is for traction control and this is for the camera this is for parking sensors so everything is very nicely done now let's just open this here you get twin cup holders along with a usb charging socket a regular usb charging socket and a wireless charging pad Now the thing is, this remote key can simply be charged. One second, let me just keep one of the keys here. Okay, the remote key can be simply charged by being kept here, and the, it glows blue because the remote key is charging right now. Now here you see there is actually a wire to charge the remote key if you so wish. 
The glove box is decent size, not really big as such, but the seats are super duper awesome. Now below the front center armrest, there's storage space along with the USB-C charging socket, and there's a light as well. Everything feels nice. Okay, you have got this touch control for the air conditioning and uh, for the climate control that is, and I really need the climate control because I'm sweating so much. It is so hot, the car of course, not the weather. Anyways, uh, these are the controls for the cruise control system. These are the controls for the audio system and you can browse through various functions on this instrument cluster. Now, there is a BC button right there. You can browse through what you want to see. G-Force meter. Of course, what is the song you're playing if you're connected to a Bluetooth device, what mode you are in, what is the gear position indicator, the fuel economy and the total kilometers. Car has done 260 kilometers. I got it at 94 kilometers. I've been running it in very sweetly and very nicely. Here, you see how much power and torque is being consumed in real time. So automatic headlights, these are the controls for the wipers as well. Actually, these are the controls for the indicators. Yeah, indicator buttons, sorry, controls. This is the control for the wipers, automatic wipers. And you see, there is plenty of spray on offer, cleans the windscreen in no time at all. Of course, you can change the color of this uh, screen by changing the modes. Here you see, yeah, various modes are there on offer, of course, like all other BMW cars. This is the start engine stop button. This is the auto stop start function which cannot be activated in sport, it says. Yeah, we are in sport mode, it will not activate the stop start system. Thank God for that. Okay, now the screen is bigger now, 12.3 inches earlier, it was 10.25 inch. It's a fantastic screen. Okay, we're just gonna remove this. Oh, that feels so nice. It is super duper awesome, super slick to use. Here I get into car and into settings. It is just, I mean, you can use this, of course, and uh, it browses so beautifully well. That's not all, it's got voice commands as well. Hey, BMW. Hey, what can I help you with? Energy flow. Energy flow. Please continue using manual control. That's also super duper awesome, okay? I mean, the voice command works beautifully well. In fact, let me do one thing. Let me get into radio right away because I want to show you this beautiful function which it has, which we've seen in multiple of BMW cars, which is gesture control, which works so much better. Now, check this out, okay? okay. Yeah, gesture control is fantastic. Audio quality is amazing with these Harman Kardon speakers. And this screen is super duper legit. Let's get into reverse firstly. Okay, this is the reverse parking camera. It gets adaptive guidelines. It gets a 360 degree camera. It also gets this bird's eye view, which is so freaking cool. It's just amazing how BMW has done it. It's so amazing. Okay, it's got park assist as well, which lets you basically let the car decide to park on its own without any intervention, no steering intervention. You don't even have to press the accelerator or the brake. It automatically changes gear there itself. And obviously it's got reversing assistant, which is basically it follows your steering trajectory in reverse when you're trying to park your car. So it, that also helpful. I think it works till 50 meters or something of that sort. Camera is super duper awesome here. You can obviously press this button and get the 3D view, which I was talking about. 3D views so amazing in this car. Look at this. Look at the views. All the cameras in this car are just super duper awesome. BMW has done a great job, but I believe now Mercedes is taking it to the next level with the new S Class. Ah, what a camera. What a beautiful camera. Looks so amazing. And thankfully, you know what the best feature was this car? The grill is of the right size. They've not gone uh, too big on the grill, thankfully. Unfortunately, though, they are still offering just 11 colors for the ambient lighting system. Yeah, so you get into interior lighting. These are the colors on offer. Just 11 colors, but the lights are very, very, very cool. Especially at night, it looks so amazing, so awesome. Very well judged lights. However, you know, color options could have been slightly more. Of course, all these features are the regular BMW FI, which you've seen in a ton of BMW cars. All the information can be browsed through this and so many ways to actually give an input. Let's get into navigation. That's also very beautiful in this car. So everything BMW has put so much focus on. In fact, if you open the door at night now, this uh, there's a light which blinks red to tell people behind, you know, that the car door is open. That's again, very nicely done. So all these small, small things really add to the appeal of this BMW 5 series. It's a fantastic car. It's a driver's delight, of course. There's a light along with the mirror. Same is the case here as well. There's a light along with the mirror. And every time you get into reverse now, that mirror actually goes down. Yeah, it actually goes down to tell you that, you know, just watch out for the curbs and be careful. So again, that's a good thing, but I don't actually enjoy it in India because I want to see both the places. I want to see down, I want to see up also. But the 360 degree camera works fantabulously well in that regard. We're going to turn off the car. And every time you turn on the car and turn off the car, now there's this beautiful BMW. Yeah, look at that. That also is so cool, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the key. I'm going to show you that you can obviously open the windows from outside. All you need to do is keep this button pressed and here you keep this button pressed. And there, all the windows come down. Very easy. I mean, this is something which you've seen in a ton of luxury cars. And there the windows come down. In fact, it even opens the sunroof for you. Yeah, there the sunroof is opening. 
Oh my god, the car is boiling hot. Although I would have expected BMW to offer height adjustable seat belts at least at the front, but the seats are so good. The design is fantabulous, but is this car as good to drive as the BMW 5 series is known to be? Well, let's get driving right away. But before we get going, let me show you a couple of more features. It gets electric adjust for the steering wheel both for reach as well as rake. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. full electric adjust which is super cool as well and it gets android auto connectivity now apple carplay is also there and both of them are of course wireless okay the camera is so good look at this okay <laughs> you change the mode now and the camera also changes accordingly and those lights now have the cornering function of course which actually works with the gps system of the car yeah that's right it works with the gps system i don't know navigation sleeping today but it works with the gps system so it knows that if there's a corner ahead it will accordingly move the light and that is so freaking amazing using the gps for the lights as well that is the level of advancedness of this light system the laser lights from bmw let's start driving right away All right, we are all set to go, which means turning off the air conditioning, getting into drive mode, getting into sport mode as well. The display changes there. Hey BMW, sport displays. Sport displays. Traction yes. control on sport. Gear lever in sport as well. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. Hazard light off. Revving the motor. Launch control active. It is always such a joy that a person in the engine also punches so hard and fast. My God, this car feels so light on its feet. It absolutely pulls like a mad machine for a four-cylinder engine. It is supremely impressive. What an engine! What a motor! I am really impressed by the 530i, and I am the person who never is impressed by four-cylinder engines. But this one is quite impressive. Rumblers, no problem. You can just go over them. Get on the gas, and you know the reaction. the response is very immediate in this car so yes acceleration is very brisk what is this this is a 2 liter engine it's a four cylinder unit and it is the same engine as the pre lci or the pre facelift model however bmw claims that they have actually made changes to the turbocharger they've revised it as well as the variable valve timing that also has been revised to improve the efficiency and overall performance of the car now the focus happens to be on efficiency a lot of it nowadays unfortunately so they also have something known as a 530e which is basically 530 electric sort of not complete so with the electric motor assist it actually gives you an additional 40 horsepower for just 10 odd seconds to improve the acceleration and also to reduce the consumption and talking about fuel consumption this one returns somewhere between 15.58 kilometers per liter somewhere around that ballpark which makes it decently efficient but obviously the 520d is the most efficient and the 530d is also more efficient than this which doesn't come across as a surprise at all to me now the engine is obviously very smooth very refined very tractable very drivable and these very words i have to keep using because this is a bmw it's absolutely phenomenal in the way it performs okay we're going to do one thing we're going to launch it again which means left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator launch control active and Look at that torque converter gearbox shift like this. Okay, it's a eight-speed unit, very fast with shift, very smooth with shifts, and you know even before you blink, it's already made the shift. You can obviously get into manual mode as well and shift gears if you so wish. Like, like I just touch the pedal, and here we are into manual mode. Now I'm in yeah lower gear. It will not upshift unless and until I decide to do so. Seven thousand RPM, and it's holding onto a gear. That is how beautiful the gearbox is. Absolutely sensational a gearbox. I like the fact that although BMW is becoming more comfort oriented and losing that driving charm a bit, still it stays true to certain things like giving complete manual control of things to the driver, which is very nice and very impressive. I like it for sure. Okay, directional changes very nice. Steering is quite accurate as well, and. very precise to however it doesn't have that weight which previous bmws had so it kind of feels lacking in that sense it kind of feels a little artificially weighed up so yeah not the ultimate driving machine like before however it's still much better than its rivals in terms of driving ability and body control is so good i tell you what i mean it's fantastic the way it's able to jink into corners feels so smooth refined under control and confidence inspiring as well in fact you know they've got 50 50 weight distribution of course it's a bmw it has 50 50 weight distribution but beyond that as well you know you can exactly feel where the wheels are going now this is rear wheel drive of course and that's the reason you heard a lot of wheels spin when we first launched so rear wheel drive for the when you can also get it with the x drive now not in india but there abroad you can also get into x drive get into the gas yeah because i've got into manual mode now it's not going to make a shift and now it will and It's so refined yet it is a little sporty when it has to be that's also very good indeed and overall performance is super duper awesome I love the brakes I mean I like how BMW always achieves a good driving parameter in all its cars and this 5 series feels so better in control than compared to the 6 series doesn't feel hefty doesn't feel heavy it feels light agile nimble and just so good to drive 
yeah the steering is a little disappointing but other than that it is just so freaking awesome in terms of driving ability and that's not all the ride quality is so good it's unbelievably good the ride quality on this car it has got adaptive dampers obviously and then we come across such a bad rumbler strip it could be really very slow the good thing though is that you know it glides through most of the road surfaces without any fuss whatsoever you know why because obviously BMW is going softer and more comfort oriented which can be felt in this car of course and onto the throttle and there it goes like insane i love it left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator launch control now of course i've told you a lot about the car without even telling you how much power and torque it makes it's actually pointless to tell you that but still i'll tell you it produces 252 horsepower which comes in at 5200 rpm and stays there till 6500 rpm although in manual mode it goes all the way till 7000 rpm slightly lower than 7000 rpm but you get the gist right torque output 350 newton meters that 350 newton meters of torque comes in at a rather low 1450 rpm and stays there till 4800 rpm that's the reason why it's so juicy and creamy throughout the rev range performance is so freaking awesome for a four cylinder engine it is humongously impressive and hey, this car has a top speed of 250 km per hour that is the level of performance that says it all the level of grunt from this motor i'm just going to put it into eco pro now in eco pro obviously uh, it's more about being sedate and taking things easy lightly fuel consumption being reduced and you know what in comfort in eco pro mode obviously the steering feels a little lighter uh, uh, the ride also feels slightly better because it's got adaptive dampers which are actually standard across the range of the new 5 series which means that uh, ride comfort is actually the emphasis here and it really rides very well in fact for the most part you don't feel the road surface at all other than the fact that you go on potholes there's a slight movement there but it doesn't thud that badly so yes overall ride comfort is very nice and i don't think the tires are that low profile the 18 inches m v is whatever but still i mean good road noise very well contained you can't hear much inside the cabin but what's most impressive is the fact that the balance between ride and handling is just so surreal now we have got six drive modes on offer okay there's eco pro which we're in right now we're going to get into comfort this is comfort mode again comfort is all about a good ride quality easy to steer the car is very easy to steer it doesn't feel the weight at all and then you've got sport mode it doesn't have a sport plus i don't know why although m sport should be having a sport plus it has an individual setting for sport as well as an individual setting for eco pro as well and there is no plus mode for comfort either so yeah drive modes are a little restricted in that sense in individual you can actually configure a few things which i'll talk about in a bit it also has got adaptive so what adaptive does is it realizes how you're driving and then it adjusts everything according to your driving style which is impressive but i'll get into sport now what it alters the engine the gearbox of course the steering wheel and uh, the dampers as well so these are the four parameters which are actually altered and you get onto the gas you realize this car actually has a dual characteristic in comfort mode it's just so comfortable so smooth so refined you can't feel anything and in sport mode it's like all of a sudden wakes up and be like i'll push hard you can take it to a corner as fast as you like because body roll is very well contained this is such a fantastic car i don't know why bmw even needs to give it a facelift because if something is so good why do you need to update it and they have updated very small things here actually you can see overall power train package as well as the dynamic ability remains more or less the same as before i kind of feel it feels a little softer and more comfort oriented now but jinx it around the corner just maintains its line so well this is a car you can actually go edge to edge around the corner without having to worry even with the traction control and sport no problem at all that is the level and directional changes are so smooth and well achieved you know this is a car which is obviously comfort oriented but you know what it's able to move around all the bumps so smoothly because it's so fast on its feet with directional changes now you want to make a quick overtake absolutely no issue get onto the gas it absolutely pulls ahead unless and until you're in manual mode then you have to take care of the gas yourself but making a u turn easy as it gets see steering is very light actually at lower speeds this is in sport mode in comfort mode it's even lighter still very easy to i think someone's dropped something okay the cap is fallen it's a ferrari cap i didn't even know it's a ferrari cap i didn't stop because it's a ferrari cap but irrespective of the ferrari cap i would have might might as well gone out and picked it myself and given to the rightful owner manual mode beautiful look at it full there is no flat spot in the power delivery at all you name it everywhere it's just unending pull pull and more of it now the price of this car should be around rupees 75 lakhs actually it's already launched but when i am driving the car right now it's not yet launched but somewhere around rupees 75 lakhs on road mumbai would be the pricing of this car which is decent enough however it's 6 lakh rupees cheaper than the 6 series the 630i m sport and it's around 
10 lakhs cheaper than the 530D M Sport. But uh, this is the base engine. There's also a 520D, which might not come in an M Sport variant. Obviously, it will not. But there is a 530D as well. So two diesels and one petrol engine. They should get the 540i in India. Trust me, it's going to be absolutely ballistic. And with this facelift, now they should have taken the option of actually offering us mild hybrid tech and getting electric as well. That would be really awesome because it would be more efficient and faster still is like, having your cake and eating it too which i don't believe in now the beauty of the 5 series is that it has a wide track it has a long wheelbase as well not as long as the 6 series of course 50 50 weight distribution makes it such a fantastic car to drive directional changes are so good i i i mean i can keep praising the handling endlessly only thing is the steering could have done a little bit better in terms of feel and feedback but keep that aside for a moment you know this is so focused on efficiency that you know it has a very low cd of just 0.23 and how do they achieve it obviously very slippery body but more importantly than that the radiator grill opens and closes yeah active flap some 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 tech jargon bmw has put in their press release to mention how it works but you get the drill that's then a lot of bmw cars what it does is it reduces air resistance you can call it a drs of a road car as such and it has got cruise control system obviously all cars have it it works between 30 to 250 kilometers per hour i don't think you need cruise control at that speed though okay we're going to stop the car and i I just don't understand how they get the braking performance so well judged every time. So now we're going to turn on traction control. We keep this button pressed. Traction control off. Yeah, DSC completely off. It is a rear wheel drive car, which is the fun of it. We're going to turn off the hazard light, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. Listen to this, okay? Yeah, absolutely overwhelms the chassis because <laughs> there is so much grunt going to the rear wheels and rear wheel drive for the win. Still, I don't understand why BMW is actually offering X drive across the range in uh, global markets. In fact, even the 520D is getting X drive. Seems kind of pointless. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.2 seconds, which is kind of quick. But then just imagine what the 540i would be. And then if they have the 540i, nobody's going to actually go and buy an M5. That is another point to consider. So, guys, this is my vlog of the fantastic new BMW 5 Series, the 530i. The m sport the g30 the lci and bmw's naming is becoming so long just like this vlog it's time to end if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye take care